Events happened as follows. The employee was moving a prefabricated concrete element with a bridge crane when the load began to sway. The employee tried to correct this motion, but a mistimed movement caused the load to sway even more. It hit the scaffolding and the employee died of injuries sustained from the impact. The best way to prevent an accident like this is to mitigate the risks associated with lifting and hoisting activities and to identify potential hazard zones. The most important steps have been outlined below. Minimize load sway and maintain the load's center of gravity. Use the right lifting equipment for the load and ensure that the equipment has been inspected and approved. A lifting beam can be used to prevent sway and the crane can be equipped with a frequency inverter and active safety technology. Plan lifting routes to avoid multiple stops. Make sure there is enough room to move the load and that the crane operator has clear lines of sight. Use cameras or a signaler if necessary. Make sure that in the event of an accident, employees aren't in the hazard zone and cannot be struck by the load. Lifting zones and hazard zones should be clearly demarcated. The crane should also be equipped with warning lights and sounds. Make sure all work areas and access routes are safe and tidy. Teach employees how to identify hazard zones and prevent dangerous situations. Draw up clear guidelines for both routine and demanding lifting tasks and make sure employees know what to do in the event of a problem and in exceptional circumstances. Make it clear that entering the hazard zone is strictly forbidden. Provide safe operating procedures for entering the hazard zone when absolutely necessary. Require and enforce strict compliance with these procedures. Stress the importance of focusing on safety in order to avoid accidents. Involve employees in identifying and preventing risks that could lead to accidents through loss of concentration.